Hello everyone, this is Abdustar and in this tutorial I will teach you how to display record in grid view in sp.net. So first you open your Visual Studio and create a project. So click new project and give the project name. Select web, sp.net web application and give the project my project. So click OK. So we successfully created a project uh, and then you open your SQL Server. I use SQL Server Management Studio 2008 and create a database MyDB under uh, we create our table. So click new table. So let's we create a employee table. ID int name. gender city id name city gender and email phone number and then we create address Make ID primary key, set primary key and auto incremented. Display so this so yes, okay. Enter and save it. Imply. Imply. Open Visual Studio and add web form. Add new web form. Select web form. Give the name home. So in this web form, we drag and drop grid view. So center. Click toolbox and drag grid view. So data and select grid view. So this close toolbox. Click select new data source. Select database. Okay. Connection string. So my DB this my db database next next so this is employee table my db my database and under we create table uh, employee this table this table so select the all record next finish so control s then we enter record in the table name John Paris mail John at the rate yahoo.com Enter second record. Return Parker Washington Mail Twitter at the rate gmail dot com. So this number.
so this is auto incremented id we cannot enter this is automatically incremented one by one so we enter two record in the, uh, in our table my db my database and then we create table employee and this is attribute id name city gender email phone number and address and we uh, uh, drag grid view uh, from toolbox click data data then we uh, drag grid view and make a connection sql data source so we try to run this project in browser So this is uh, record we enter in the data uh, in our table employee table. So you can see this table uh, employee table and we display two record. We give uh, we give the heading. So this is implied detail and this implied table. If you have any suggestion, query, leave your comments. And thanks for watching. Take care.